Good afternoon. I'm Ernesto Garcia from the Gephardt Media Center. I'm the communications director, and we're glad that you're able to tune us for this special news bulletin update. First of all, we'll talk about the elections in just a moment, but Gephardt is sending out our thoughts and prayers to the community of Uvalde during this very difficult time. Also, are right there with our friends from the San Antonio Realtors Association and the Uvalde Realtors as well. This is a a tragedy that we are going to follow. The Associated Press is where we're getting our news source from right now and all the latest information that we can get. Follow the AP for the latest on this story as it develops as we are El Paso Strong here and sending our thoughts and prayers to our community friends in Uvalde and in the San Antonio area. As we continue tonight, it's election 2022. You have a few hours remaining to vote in this upcoming election. And we wanted to make sure that you had a chance to hear about our government affairs committee and its endorsements for this coming up election. We have important runoff races and the government affairs community, the government affairs committee in the last few weeks had an opportunity to interview the candidates in these upcoming elections. And we had a chance to make some endorsements that we feel that the realtor community should hear in our area as to who we endorse because they best represent the interest of our community and our realtor community as well. And when it comes to the endorsements, we start off first with the County Commission District 2 race. The Greater El Paso Association of Realtors endorses the incumbent David Stout in the upcoming runoff election. You have until seven o'clock once again to vote in these elections. In the District 4 race, we the uh, Government Affairs Committee had a chance to interview the Republicans and Democrats on uh, the both runoff races. And Gephardt is endorsing Sergio Coronado for County Commission District 4 race. He is uh, currently on the board of the Canatillo uh, Independent School District. For the uh, county court law number three, uh, Gephardt is endorsing Monica Lupita Perez. And once again, these are the candidates that had a chance to speak to our Government Affairs Committee. The Government Affairs Committee had discussions and put in their votes to who they feel best represents the realtor community in the El Paso area. You have until seven o'clock to vote. Once again, please take the time. All 119 polling locations are open until seven o'clock. You can Google El Paso uh, County elections to get all the details. If you have any last second questions or last second uh, 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 information facts that need to be addressed, that's once again, the El Paso County elections website. Once again, please go out and vote. You have until seven o'clock. Reporting from the Gephardt News Desk, I'm Ernesto Garcia.